it's a pretty decent day today. Uh, it's kind of cold today, but I'm not going to complain because the sun's trying to peek out. But we're headed down here to the wood yard. We are going to cut and split some more firewood. I uh, just got the excavator all greased up, fueled up, ready to go. That's such a good feeling, by the way, when everything's taken care of. But what you saw me doing there at the beginning, I was greasing the uh, swing gear. And when you do that, you've got to rotate the machine 90 degrees, put some grease in it, another 90 degrees, and keep doing that till you go the whole way around. That way you're getting grease in that entire swing gear all the way around it. All right, here we are at the wood bunker. But uh, Levi has been putting quite the dent in the big pile there. He's been filling up these IBC totes. Now these ones are the smaller ones. They're the 275 gallon totes. And if you stack these up just a little bit above the top like he did here, that equals one third of a cord of firewood right there. So he's got three more here. I think I'll move these out of the way. And then we'll cut some wood, fire up the splitter, and start replacing what he took out. building here. I've got the uh, sidekick loaded up with my uh, chainsaws and fuel and all that stuff. But you're going to see this video on Thursday and on Friday, the following day, Melissa and I are going to be at the uh, sports show at the Minneapolis Convention Center. I mentioned that a couple times before. Uh, if any of you are planning on attending, it would be great. We'd love to see you. Uh, let me know in the comments if you plan on coming. Hopefully we'll see you there. So this one I just cut up, it came in a load of uh, firewood poles. It was a real big red oak that had split. I don't know if it split when they cut it down or if when it hit the ground, but uh, these are still really heavy right here. What I like to do is kind of cut over here 
I have a uh, slab laying on the ground that keeps my uh, bar out of the dirt and then the big ones like this they're still real heavy I'll just use the excavator grab them toss them right over by the uh, log lift on the log splitter if these were any bigger than this I would probably put the uh, split fire on and downsize them a little bit more but these shouldn't be too bad to get on the log lift once I get them over there by the way the saw I'm using here this afternoon is the MS 400 a lot of people get confused because I use both this and the uh, 500i for most of my firewood stuff I kind of switch back and forth between them uh, the real big stuff I'll use the 500 most everything else the 400 works fine for it
All right, got some more uh, wood split. I'm gonna get another one of these totes ready for uh, Levi tomorrow morning. Maybe I'll get a couple of them ready actually. So the other day, in a video I mentioned that uh, we run into a lot of people that watch our channel when we're out and about at a store or whatever. And a lot of them, uh, most of them aren't subscribers to the channel and they've never left a comment. So I mentioned, I asked them, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment. And I was reading through some of them. Uh, it's hilarious, it is. There's tons of people, watch every video, never left a comment. Well, we like to hear from you, we really do. We don't answer every single comment, but I do think we read every single one. And it's pretty nice just uh, seeing all the people out there that are into the same things we are. But, uh, oh, something else I want to mention. People always ask about these. The 3M Bluetooth headphones. If you don't have a pair of these and you cut grass, run a string trimmer, run a log splitter, they're fantastic. I listen to uh, different podcasts or audio books or whatever on these right from my phone. And uh, they work really good. But I'll put a link, an affiliate link in the description for the 3M Bluetooth headphones. Most of you probably already have these and probably like them as much as I do. They're really nice. battery dead. So when I need to wear safety glasses, like right there when I was running the Sawzall, I uh, grab these. These are DeWalt, and they work good. They have the little cheaters in the bottom of them. You know, I wear reading glasses. I can see my phone well. I can see the cameras. But I have to admit, I get a little jacked up when I'm walking around with them, looking between the two lenses. So I don't know if I just need to get used to them or uh, maybe just keep wearing the reading glasses. I don't know. But anyway, before I wrap this video up, a couple things. Uh, number one, the content of this channel is gonna be changing here drastically in the near future. We're gonna be getting out of the woodcutting mode. We're gonna be doing a lot of building stuff, digging stuff, uh, all types of things. We got some side jobs to do for some neighbors, but uh, we're definitely ready for spring, we are. This time of year, pretty much from Christmas till springtime is a lot of woodcutting but uh, we're definitely getting ready for spring here. Secondly, don't forget, uh, you're gonna see this video on Thursday, and hopefully Friday we will see some of you at the Minneapolis Sports Show. Melissa and I will be there all day Friday and probably half a day on Saturday. And I think that's about it. And if you want one of Melissa's shirts, don't forget there's a link in the description for that. And like I always say, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like button, click subscribe, and share them with your friends. Thanks.